Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing about data interpretation. So basically in this video we will be dealing with a single table and the level would be a moderate one. It won't be that easy. It would be a moderate one and uh, here we will be dealing with the ratio proportion. So ratios are involved in our question. So let's move on to the question and see it. This is a question. Okay, in this question, what we have, we have the population distribution of seven states. So seven states are given on the basis of educational index and also on the basis of the gender. So on the basis of gender and on the basis of educational index, some distribution of population is given. So this is what we have. Let's see. See, this is the percentage of population below educational index. Okay, so this is the percentage. These all are the percentage in the first. This column is all percentage. Second is the proportion of males and females. So this is divided on in the basis of the gender. So male and male and female above, male and female below and male and female above the educational index. So this is the question. So let's solve it. See how we can say that so that is if 15% of people in Gujarat are below the educational index. So out of this 15%, the three portion would go to the male and two portion would go to the female. So this is the question. Okay. Okay. Now the question is if the male population above educational index for Uttar Pradesh is 16 1.6 lakhs. So male population above educational index is given. Okay. In Uttar Pradesh, what we have? We have 16 percent which is below the educational index. So if below is 16 percent, then above would be 100 minus 16. So above would be 100 minus 16 which would, would be 84 percent. Okay, so means total population out of the total population 84 percent of the population are above index above the educational index. Okay, now from this 84 percent what is given we have given for the male population. So this 84 percent in uh, that is in Uttar Pradesh it is divided in the ratio 5 is to 1. So this is further divided in the ratio 5 is to 1 and in our question we are given for the male population. So we know the value of this 5. Okay, so what we finally have is we have 5 out of 5 plus 1, 6 into 84 percent. So we'll get the percentage by calculating it, we'll get the percentage. So when we cancel out, we'll get 70 percent. We'll get 70 percent. Okay, now what is this 70 percent? This 70 percent is the percentage of men who are above educational index. Okay, means total from the total population, 70 percent are above the educational index. So this 70% is given as 1.6. So what we have, we have 70% is 1.6. If 70% is 1.6, what would be the 100%? 100% would be 1.6 upon 70 into 100. Okay, so this point it will come over here. 100 would cancel out. We'll get 16 by 7. So 16 by 7 after cancelling out, uh, so 7 to the 14, 2.2. So 2.28 is in the option. So 2.28 is the answer for this question. Let's move to the next question. Okay, in this question, what will be the number of females below education? So below education index in the state of Rajasthan. Okay, so we have to find so uh, below education index in the state of Rajasthan so in Rajasthan below education index is 18 so we have 18 so we'll take direct 18 okay we won't be doing anything okay this is 18 percent is below education index if it is known that the population of Rajasthan is 14 lakhs so total population we know is 14 lakhs so 18 percent of the total population that is we can say okay so total population is 14 lakhs now this is below so this below here it is below so this is further divided into three and four three is to four three parts and four parts okay now what we have to actually find is we have to find this four here because we are talking here about females so it would be four by seven of this 18 percent okay now what we have uh, we have this is 18 percent of what 18 percent of total population and the total population of Rajasthan is given as 14 so we'll write 4 by 7 of 18 percent of total population of Rajasthan which is given as 14 so when we solve this we'll get the answer so let's solve it it is 7 1 zero, it is 7 2 zero. 18 8 zero is 144 144 upon 100 is 1.44 so 1.44 lakhs is the answer okay let's move to the next Okay, what will be the male population 
so we have male and above educational index so we have above education index for the state of punjab okay now what actually know what is given if the female population below education index so female population below education index is given so uh, in punjab below education index it is 11 okay so we'll write two things one is below below and one is above so below education index it is 11% and above in the education index it would be 100 minus 11 it would be 89% okay now what we have to find uh, what will be the male population so above education index male population for punjab so this is the thing this one above uh, male population for punjab okay this is the one so male is this four okay so this 89 is further divided into 4 is to 5 so male is this four so we'll have 4 by 9 of 89% of the total population so total population we don't know here the total population should be multiplied for this we would be referring the second hint which is given if the female population below education index of so below education index is 11 and this is further divided into 3 is to 5 so 3 is to 5 female is what 5 so we'll be having 5 by 8 so we have 5 by 8 of 11 Eleven percent of total population. So eleven percent of total population. I said x is equal to what it is given. It is two. So it is two. So we'll from here we'll find the value of x and we'll substitute it here. So what we want? We want four by nine into eighty-nine percent of x. We want. Okay. From x we'll from here we'll find the value of x and we'll substitute over here. So this x would be substitute over this x. So here it will be having x. So it is eleven percent. So eleven by hundred. So here we have x would be equal to two uh, into eight into hundred upon five into eleven. So this is the value of x, and we'll substitute this value over here. So what we'll get? We'll get four by nine into eighty nine upon hundred into two uh, into eight into hundred upon five into eleven. So this is what we will get. So this hundred it will cancel out by this. So okay. So now what I will do is I will just take it as ninety. Okay. This eighty nine if I take it as ninety it can be cancelled out by so that I will get some approximate uh, values. So I'll get five one zero. It is five one zero five eight zero. It is eighteen zero. So eighteen we have again we have nine nine one zero nine two zero eighteen. So we can just solve it. We'll have. Uh, we'll be having it to the sixteen into eight. So six we'll have sixteen into eight by eleven. Sixteen into eight by eleven. So it is like one twenty eight by eleven. So when we cancel it out, we'll get eleven. Eleven is our one twenty one. So it will be around eleven point something. So eleven point six is coming. So eleven point five zero is there. So this is the answer. So sometimes you can just approximate the value so that you can solve it easily. Okay. So like this, it will save some time and you'll get uh, answer around it. So you can guess. Next. If the population of male below educational index for Madhya Pradesh, so we have to find for Madhya Pradesh and below educational index. So it is twelve percent. Okay, below educational index for Madhya Pradesh is four lakhs. So it is given if the population of males is given. So this twelve percent. So below for below it would be two is to five. So this is divided into two is to five, and for just two we have the value. So we'll write two by seven of. Twelve percent of the total population. Total population. Let it be x. Twelve two by seven of the total. Twelve percent of the total population. It is equal to four. It is given it as four. Okay. So by solving it, you'll get the value of x. So x will become seven hundred. It is four one zero four three zero. It will become seven hundred by six over here. Okay. Now next next and for the state Kerala. So this is for Madhya Pradesh and we have to find it for Kerala. And for the state Kerala, it is five lakh. So For Kerala, it is ten percent. So ten percent, this ten percent, uh, we know uh, it for males. So for male, it is one. So one by six of ten percent of X we'll get. One by six of ten percent. So ten upon hundred of the total population, it is given as what? It is given as five. So this is the total population of Madhya Pradesh, and this would be the total population of Kerala. So from there, we'll get the answer of X as this will cancel it out. Five into ten into six. Okay. Now, what is asked? What will be the ratio of Madhya Pradesh and Kerala? So, Madhya Pradesh would be on the top. That is seven hundred by six, and Kerala we will be dividing it. So, it would be equal to one upon five into 
10 into 6 okay this will get cancelled out okay after solving you will get the answer the answer would be 7 by 18 you will get 7 by 18 which is equal to 7 is to 18 is the answer for this question let's move to the next question if the population of males above the educational index so we are talking about population of males above the educational index so here above the education index in Delhi is 2 lakhs so Delhi in Delhi below the education index is 20 so if below is 20 then above would be 100 minus 20 which would be equal to 80 percent and males is given so above above means we will be using this column and males is given so first one is given so 3 upon 4 into 80 percent of total population so what that is what we want have 3 upon 4 into 80 percent of total population it is given to be 2 lakhs okay after solving this we will find the value of x so it would be get cancelled out it is 2 1s are 2 4s are 4 will get cancelled out so x is equal to 10 by 3 we have okay and this was for Delhi this was for Delhi and there is another scenario for Gujarat for Gujarat it is the same as the 3 so for Gujarat above if below is 15 above would be 85 and this 100 minus 15 would be 85 and this 85 percent would be further divided into uh, 2 and 1 and we are considered about this 2 so this is uh, 2 is to 1 and we are considered about this 2 so 2 upon 2 plus 1 2 upon 3 into 85 percent of the total population of Gujarat is equal to 3 okay after solving it we will get x is equal to 3 into 3 into 100 upon 2 into 85 so, okay when we cancel it out you will get you can just cancel it out it is 2 ones are it is 2 fifties are and uh, you can cancel it out by uh, 5 it is uh, 5 tens are it would be 5 17 are so 3 is a 9 9 tens are 90 so 90 by 17 is the value of x so the population of Delhi that x d is 10 by 3 and population of Gujarat is x g it is 90 by 17 so we'll just divide it out so 10 by 3 divided by uh, 90 by 17 okay when we cancel it out you will get the answer like 10 by 3 into 17 upon 90 okay which would be equal to 17 is to 27 so 17 is to 27 is the answer for this question so this was all about the data interpretation question it involves only a single table further I will be discussing question which involves two tables and uh, the from I'll start it from moderate and we'll go to hard level also so if you like the video please click the like button and please do subscribe and share thank you